All right, what's going on, you guys? Nick here with Nick's Random Powers. So I thought this would make an interesting comparison video here. So Kevin Lavroni, towards the end of his bodybuilding career in his prime back in 2004, did a guest posing back at the 2004 NPC National. So these little screenshots that you're looking at here are from the video of him guest posing back in 2004 compared to the video of him guest posing about a week ago at the uh, Maryland 2018 Gladiator Classic. So interestingly enough, back in 2004, he posed to the exact same Creed song that he posed to at the 2018 guest posing. But the reason why I found this particularly interesting is because a lot of people were saying how bad Kevin Lavroni looked at his comeback and how he didn't look anything like he looked you know, back in the day. But I think this video is really contrary to popular opinion. If you compare how he looked back in 2004, he looked really similar in 2018, if not a little bit better at this guest posing than he looked back in 2004. I mean, a lot of people knock Kevin for his legs, but if you look at his legs in 2004 and his legs in 2018, from a size standpoint, they're very comparable. And at the 2018 guest posing, he might have even had better separation in his legs. Now, granted, towards the end of his bodybuilding career, um, that's one of the things that was causing him to go downhill in place and was his leg development was starting to slack um, back in the early 2000s. And that's one of the things that caused his placings to begin to drop. So the point here is, if Kevin Lavroni's goal was to look like he looked back in the day, I think he certainly succeeded. He looked better in some regards at this guest posing than he looked back in 2004. His conditioning was better, but granted, he was only a week after his last show. So I think part of the reason why people say Kevin Lavroni looks so bad is maybe the caliber of competition today is just that much better than it was back in the early 2000s and late 90s. And the guys today are simply that much bigger and that much more proportionate and complete. So Kevin Lavroni, by comparison, doesn't look as good. So I think even if we had a 2004 Kevin Lavroni, a carbon copy of how Kevin Lavroni looked in 2004, competing in these lineups today, I still don't think he would be placing that well. Now, maybe a Kevin Lavroni from the 90s where his conditioning was really on point and his legs were on point, maybe like 94, 95 Arnold Classic Kevin Lavroni. Then we'd be talking about a Kevin Lavroni um, that would be a serious threat to today's bodybuilding lineup. But as far as towards the end of his career, I think Kevin Lavroni did an amazing job, you know, here coming back 14 years later and really replicating that physique. So I think while a lot of people say, well, he didn't look good, I think there's definitely a large amount of props that we should be giving Kevin Lavroni for what he was able to achieve at the age of 53. Um, in my opinion, pretty much duplicating how he looked in 2004. Maybe he was a little bit bigger um, in 04. But for the most part, if you actually compare Kevin Lavroni today versus Kevin Lavroni then, there's no real argument that he looked pretty similar, especially in the upper body. So let me know in the comment section below what you guys think about Kevin Lavroni's 2004 guest posing compared to Kevin Lavroni's guest posing today. Now, obviously, the photos are a little bit lower quality from 2004, and the photos today are a lot sharper, so he might look a little bit more conditioned. But just from an overall size standpoint and what you can tell from these two photos, let me know in the comment section below what you guys think. Thank you guys for watching the video. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Nick Strength and Power, signing out.